Michael Nagy here with Jiggy Jag TV and DiscoveringBands.com. And for everyone watching for Cher's video on my channel and help support the awesome artists I've featured today, I'm here with Comrades. How are you doing today? Good. How's it going? Good, good. It's great to have you. Yeah, thanks uh, for having me out here. Yeah, and you want to start off and let us know how you got into industrial music to start with? Uh, yeah. I mean, I just kind of ventured into it uh, slowly. I, I, I started doing electronic music like in uh like late 2013 just experimenting with an mpc and uh i started out with like electro clash kind of sounds like very like lady tron inspired and uh but i came from uh, like a lot of punk bands and i was missing that energy so over the years i just started you know interjecting a little more industrial sounds and uh you know i'm having i'm having a lot of fun doing that and i'm a lot more inspired with that too yeah, I, I saw you last year, and the show was great energy. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I try and, I try and bring that punk energy onto the, uh, the electronic platform. <laughs> I like how you're interactive with your fans, too. Like uh, your latest uh, Facebook post asking the fans to write their favorite songs and why. And I was going to say, are you surprised by any of the reactions from people? Uh, I mean, it was kind of all over the place because the, the style that I do is uh i mean it's a mixture of post-punk with industrial and uh a lot of different sounds it, it was cool to see that there's like you know that the fan base is almost like in a couple different camps where some people really prefer the uh the post-punk stuff and uh you know others love like the heaviest songs i've ever written and uh you know that makes me think i'll just stay on the path i'm on and uh just keep mixing mixing those things because uh I mean, I'll, I'll get bored if I play the same thing over and over again. So I'm glad everybody else kind of feels the same way. Yeah, pretty neat to have people write a bunch of different tracks and say just one standout track, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad that not everybody just likes one song from me. So that was that was cool to know, too. <laughs> and I saw you plan on doing some more heavier material coming up, I guess. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm already starting to write uh, the follow-up to The Wolf. And uh, it's it's definitely in an angry realm right now you know i'm just influenced by uh you know the news and my surroundings and uh it, it's gonna come out real hard on the next record yeah you just released a new song nervous breakdown tell us a little about that oh yeah that came out um brutal resonance premiered it on august 13th and uh i released it everywhere streaming um just a few days ago august 19th it's been yeah it's been like a week and uh I've been wanting to cover Black Flag for a long time. Like they're one of the reasons why I wanted to become a musician. Like just seeing those old videos of like Henry Rollins up there, um, you know, Greg Jens, um, his guitar playing. I just love uh, like the low tones he used and, uh, you know, disregarding scales and just making just these these angry songs and uh i just wanted to pay my own tribute to that you know, like something to uh you know it's all that song was also like a closure for me uh because i just switched jobs i was having a very difficult time at my uh my last day job and i was there for over a decade uh doing construction and uh i think that that song just kind of put a little bow on that chapter while i move ahead to the next thing so the music is like kind of therapy for you, kind of helps you out. Definitely is. Um, yeah, it's it helps me breathe, and like I just live and breathe the music, and uh, yeah, yeah, it gives me peace of mind. And then you know that's why you know you see my shows are very high energy because you know right now I'm not you know I'm pretty calm right now, but you know live you'll see me and uh, it's pretty wild, and that's just where I get it all out on stage. It's a lot of fun. And you're a solo, right? You do everything all yourself, right? Yes, I've been doing uh, Comrade Solo since 2019. So uh, when I first started the project, I had a, uh, a bassist, Jesse Helstead. Um, we collaborated and uh, you know wrote a lot of the songs together. And uh, But he is a singer for um, a power metal band. Wanted, wanted to pursue that like more full-time. And uh, you know, we still hang out. I'm actually planning on hanging out with him tomorrow. Awesome. Um, but yeah, yeah, my tour schedule and then us just wanting to do different genres just led to me just sticking solo with us. And that makes it more affordable for the time being too. you know, just just have to pay myself. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any shows coming up in the near future? 
I do. Um, on September 20th in Rochester, my hometown, I am opening for Kite and Front 242. So that show is going to be a lot of fun. That's a big so, show. That's going to be great. I don't have a lot of like tour dates planned out the rest of this year. Um, I'm just uh, doing some like opening gigs. So in uh, in October, I'll be opening for Aesthetic Perfection, Josie Pace, and uh, Gen Cab when they come to Buffalo. Uh, congrats and, which, on getting on that because I know that was a competition. So congrats on getting on that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I did their Battle of the Bands, and uh, that was fun. Um, you know, it was it was cool to interact with them on there, and then uh, the, the the chat room was was uh, was pretty great. It was cool to talk to a bunch of people on there and uh yeah and, and see what these other bands are doing in other cities so that that was that's a pretty cool thing that he's got going on right now definitely now uh, if people want to find you online look you up get your music on social media how do they do that oh yeah um like instagram is uh, uh I'm, I'm the most active on there um you know comrades band is my uh, my handle uh, you can find me on Twitter and, uh, you know, Bandcamp is the best way to, you know, to find my music and support me. Uh, I have a couple releases that are only on there as opposed to like my stuff that's, you know, up on Spotify. Um, yeah, but I, I, my music is available everywhere. Um, vinyls are sold out, unfortunately, but I do have, uh, cassette tapes and CDs on my Bandcamp as well. And, uh, and through my record label, Negative Gain. Awesome. Where are you hoping to see comrades in maybe a few years from now? Uh, my goal, I think by 2024, is to hopefully tour Europe. Um, I've been just in North America. Uh, I've been tour I've toured Canada. I've done the U.S. a bunch of times. I have more U.S. and Canadian tours planned next year or in the early process of planning. Uh, I'm hoping to um, get to Mexico City next year. Uh, and then, yeah, 2024, I would love to bring this project to uh, the UK and Europe and, uh, and then branch out from there. Awesome. Yeah, it's so many great festivals in Europe, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the scene looks like it's just healthy and huge over there. Uh, so I, I definitely want to be a part of that. Yeah, I've been to a few festivals out there and it's amazing. The crowd, the turnout, the energy. It's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, I've, I've never uh left the u.s aside from you know trips to canada because i live in rochester so canada is only a few hours away so yeah i've been to canada a bunch of times and you know, i've been to mexico once uh i'd really like to branch beyond this this hemisphere and do you have some bands maybe you'd like to share the stage with and maybe even work with collaborate with oh yeah like uh i'm wearing one of their shirts right now i, I would love to do some tour dates with a uh, with morris black um, and I, you know, I've, I've hung out with them. Like I, I crash on their couch, uh, every time I go to Boston. Um, I just did a, the, uh, we were talking about that tour with Ayatoya. Um, we're talking about doing some more dates in the U S next year. Uh, cause uh, she was such a pleasure to work with. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to some more, some more tour dates with her. And, uh, I would love to do something with, uh, uh with Sisajix or uh, choke chain. Like it'll be, I think it'd be so much fun to, uh, you know, to do some tour dates with them. So many great fans out there, yeah. It feels like a like a renaissance right now for goth industrial music. Um, like there's there's so many cool new acts. Yeah, which is good to see because you don't want you know it's good to see new acts coming up like you said instead of just the same same bands. So it's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, it's almost like a just a never-ending onslaught of like new bands coming out. It's it's really cool. Everybody, there's a lot of people doing some cool stuff right now, and a lot of events and festivals, or, which is important to keep the scene healthy. Yeah, just a few weeks ago, I played um, Dark Springs, Boston uh, Garden Party. It was like you know nine bands all, all day long uh, right in the city of Boston. That was so much fun. Awesome. Well, I look forward to what you have coming up in the future. And it was great having you and talking with you and everybody look him up. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And uh, sometime, I think, either by the end of the year or early next year, I have a remix album of uh, The Wolf coming out. I've got 13 remixes. And uh, 
some really cool collabs. So watch out for that before the year's over. Awesome. Look forward to that. <laughs>